Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. Last video we made our uh, chopped meat sauce, Italian chopped meat sauce for our lasagna video, which you can see up here. And uh, we made that sauce, but we're not going to use that sauce for lasagna. We're going to use it to, on this video, we're going to use it to make a pizza. And we're going to use a pizza dough that was... Uh, that I got the recipe from a fellow named Tom Lehman, the dough doctor. And he's a great guy. He worked for American Institute of Baking Technology and I have all his articles and this guy is amazing. So if you wanna know about pizza dough and how to make it, this is the guy you look, look up his articles. And they're in PMQ Pizza Magazine here. They have a lot of his articles. We're gonna get started now, and, uh, and, and we'll, I'm gonna measure everything out with my scale, and I'm gonna convert it in the description below to, to volume for you, but I really suggest when you're making doughs and bread, you gotta use a scale. Let's get started. Okay, we're gonna get started. I wanna explain something to you. This is a, a half a tray, what they call a half tray. We're gonna make two of these trays. In the description, I'm gonna have all the ingredients for, for one tray, but I'm making two today. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna measure out my stuff. I need 32 ounces of flour. And if you look up this fellow Tom Lehman, Lehman, he'll tell you all about what flour you should use. In the pizza parlors, they use a little stronger flour, but we, we're only gonna use Heckers, because he says you need about 11.5% protein. That's all you need for handmade pizzas. If you're gonna do it in a factory, or commercially, they use stronger flours because they, yeah, it's gotta go through the machines. But if you use too strong a flour, you're gonna have a hard time shaping. This is why you need a scale. And you see, we're gonna need 32 ounces. There you go, 32. Let me try and measure that in cups. It's pretty hard. I'm gonna put that in here. And he also said that he wanted, he suggested, and I found that this is great, three ounces of, I already measured this out, three ounces of cornmeal. And I have my sugar and salt already measured. I'm putting that in here. The only thing I have to measure now is my yeast and water. Okay, we just wanna mix this up a little bit. You don't have to sift the flour when you're making bread. Just gotta make it, mix it up a little bit. Now, the only thing I gotta measure left is my uh, yeast. And I need four to 4.6 grams. So I have my scale set up here for four two. I like a mechanical scale, but if you get it digital, it's okay. I like mechanical because I'm always afraid about batteries dying and then it's not accurate. Mechanical is always accurate. There you go, 4.2. Now this here gets put right into the flour instant dry yeast. If you use the other type of dry yeast, you're gonna have to do the same thing, but you have to hydrate that a little bit. This you don't have to hydrate. You just put it into your flour mixture. I have my oil ready, and we'll get back to you with the next step. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, we have our mixture here. These are our dry ingredients, and I'm taking the temperature of this here because it's kind of important to get the right temperature of your dough. This is 74 degrees. So now I have to figure out, which I automatically, mathematically did already, and if you would like to get the information on that, just give me a, put that in the comments and I'll get back to you with how you do it. But I figured it out and I need water at 76 degrees to get, make this whole mixture end up to be about 70, Eight after I mix it because there's a little friction in the mixer too. 
So that's going to increase it a little. So we're going to try and end up with a dough that's around 78 degrees. Here's a new tri knee trick with my scale because it makes things a lot easier. I need 22 ounces, 22 and a half ounces of water for this. I put my pot on top of my scale, it's nine and a half. So to get to 22 and a half, I gotta go up to 32. So I'm gonna just pour this in here until it's 32 ounces on the scale. That makes things a lot easier. That's good. Now, the, the main thing with this is we gotta get this up to what we say we needed here for temperature, 76. So now we're just gonna heat that up a little bit till we get it to 76. Okay, we heated this up just a little bit. It's 71, that's kind of close enough. We're gonna take this over here, and I have my oil already set up. I'm gonna add that to this. We're gonna put our water into the mixer bowl. Suggest that you mix it very slow, very easy. Only about four minutes. You're not making bread with this. You usually mix that in about eight, ten minutes. So we're gonna kind of time this. It's kind of critical. We're gonna time it for about three and a half minutes. I'm gonna mix this dough at speed number two. There we go, go. As we're doing that, I want to get this here in the end. I put a little olive oil in here. This is all going to be our fermentation basket. These are great, these here. They're made by Cambro, I think it is. So we coat this a little bit. Okay, we got this going about about a minute and a half so far. You can see it's starting to clean off the side of the bowl. Give it a little help, maybe. Kind of raggedy right now, but we'll get back at the three and a half minutes to see how it looks. Okay, we're kind of there now. You see, it's cleaned the side of the bowl, and it's kind of nice. And you don't want to go too far with this because you'll never be able to stretch it to your tray and shape it. Just down. And get my scraper. with your scraper. Throw too much. Use your scraper. Get into a kind of a round bowl. Fold it over. Don't play with it. And put it in your basket. And with your oil all here. I'm gonna pat it down with the top with some oil. And we're gonna cover this and we're gonna let it sit for three hours. 
in a nice warm area. In three hours, we should have double what we have now. We look to, yeah, just about here. When we're double, we're ready. Okay, we'll see you in three hours. Okay, we're back about three hours later. And here we got a nice fermented dough. You can see how far up it went. That's beautiful. What a smell, beautiful. That's all the flavor. Try to get it out as nice as possible without playing around with it too much. Like I said, I'm making double. The recipe on the description will all have it for one. So you won't have to split it. I'm gonna split this. too much because like I said the more you develop it the tougher it is to, to, to form so right now we've got about an even piece I'm not gonna weigh this I'm just gonna kind of split it Shaping. And I'm just putting a little flour on the. I want to get it into a like a rectangle as much as we can, as best we can. Okay, I kind of got it a little bit of a rectangle right now, as flat as it can be. And I'm gonna take a little olive oil, put it on the sheet pan here. for a little while.
give it a little roll. And every once in a while, you're gonna have to leave it for about 10 minutes. Give it a little rest so it's not fighting you all the way. Try to get it even. Thickness. Okay, we're gonna leave this go, give it a rest for 10 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna rest this, like I said, for about 10 minutes. And then we'll come back to it for, and shape it a little better. Don't, don't mess with it. Okay, we re rested this about 10 minutes. Like I say, give it a little break. And this here sheet of plastic, I had to put some olive oil on it just to cover it so you don't get no skin on it and now we're just gonna a little more rolling out to even it up a little it'll be a lot easier to roll that it's rested and get it over to the side of the pan this is enough to make one tray what I'm giving you the recipe for. Oh, that's the other thing. They don't call, in baking, they don't call it a recipe. Recipe is in cooking. In baking, they're called formulas because there's no alterations. You're supposed to go with the formula for bread making, cake making. So that's the difference between a recipe and a formula. So now we got this out pretty good even and we're going to take our docking We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil, they say, to stop the sauce from going through. I don't know if it works or it doesn't, but this is what my friend Tom said. He's pretty good. You're gonna love this crust. Now this is not a thin crust, this is kind of a, a deep crust, a, a thicker crust. You're more like a grandma, not like a Sicilian pizza. But uh, we'll call it a grandpa because I'm making it. Okay, now here's our lasagna sauce. We're gonna try this. I'm gonna put it on here. We're gonna make like a little bit of a lasagna pizza. See how nice and thick it is? People worry about putting the water in there. The water's gone. You need about, for one of these sheet pans, you need a good quart of sauce. I'm gonna save some for the other one. Okay, so we got it pretty well covered. Put this aside, and then I'm going to throw a little pecorino romano on top of that. Like you make a lasagna. The only thing that's missing is the record. And that's enough. That's why I didn't add too much. I don't add salt to this sauce because you're putting a lot of cheese on it. It's salty enough. Now in this year you need about half a pound of mozzarella to cover this tray.
Okay, how's that look? Good, Lorenzo? Yep. All right. We're gonna cover this up again. No oil on that thing, no, no oil. Okay. Put this over here. And in a minute I'll show you how we're gonna we're gonna proof this for about 45 minutes. Okay. Now we're gonna proof these things for about 40 minutes. And I I blocked up my vent on my stove, I put my light on, my oven light, and I got it up to around 89 degrees in here. So that's great. So we're gonna proof this for about 40 minutes. And then we're gonna take them out and let it rest on the table for another 20. So it'll be about an hour proof. And then we're gonna bake them. So we're gonna give this 40 minutes. Zero, four, oh, start. Okay, we did about 40 minutes in our proof box, our homemade proof box. So now we can take this off. And we'll take our dough out, put it on the table, and we're gonna proof it for another 25 minutes while we preheat the oven to 400 degrees. So that'll be a, close to an hour proof. And I'll show you that in a minute. Bake, 400, start. Okay, we'll be back in, uh, we're gonna set this for about 25 minutes. You really gotta heat these ovens up. Okay, we're done. We, we'll be back in 25 minutes to put it in and bake. Okay, we preheated the oven for 25 minutes and we put it in and we baked it for, at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. It's kind of done right now. I'm going to pull it out. There it goes. Our lasagna pizza. Shut that off. I checked it already. Okay, looks great, don't it? Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit, hit the subscribe button and the notification button. And here we go with our pizza. Enjoy.